Hello and welcome to another Warcraft the audio commentary casting. Yeah, I don't know. I need to come up with a, a phrase, but okay. But anyway, um, this is an IEF match. IEF, yes, indeed, IEF 2012. It was played or is played. I'm not sure if it's over. I don't think it's over yet. It might be over. I think it actually is over. Come, but I don't know. Anyway, the point is, um, this was played in. Wuhang, China. Wuhang, China. I'm not sure how to actually pronounce that, but either way, it was in China, and it's an international tournament, and we're going to see some players, and I've got a bunch of games I'm going to be casting from this. They are already up on WSR if you'd like to watch them uh, beforehand, and that's fine as well, but I will be casting. I'm going to try to cast all of them if I can get the time to over the next three or four days. We're also going to have Zotac tomorrow, of course, so that's going to take up some time. But we'll see what I can do. We'll see what I can do. Uh, and this is going to be Remind, spawning as the Red Elf up here in the upper right part of the map. This is Turtle Rock, so you know this, the spawns are always a little bit odd. But um, with a close spawn, we're going to see Teal, the Infi, human player Infi Teal, spawning in on the upper left side of the map. So it's close spawn, very close. We're going to see it looks like an Arc Mage coming out for Infi. And we're going to go ahead and get a fast peon scout to see that Remind with the Demon Hunter coming out uh, is going to be spawned right beside him. We're going to see that ALW creep right here. Um, it's nice placement of the Ancient of War here because if if he had placed it over here and then he, got, he gets rushed, uh, it would be a little bit harder to defend that Ancient of War. But over here it's nicer. Uh, and of course you can still get the ALW creep off if he wants. He may decide not to. We're going to see exactly what he decides to do now that he knows there is in fact a close spawn uh, but we'll see what happens and it looks like he's gonna go ahead and try to get the AOW creep off forces are under should be able to do so no problem uh, bringing in the wisp and gonna see exactly what is going on with Infi uh, just of course having that scout we're gonna have that scout footman come over here and maybe try to do some harass onto this AOW creep and if he sees that he's up oh, looks like he did see that in fact and he's actually going to uh, let those creeps walk back to their base uh, perhaps indeed the spamming stop on the Ancient of War so it does not aggro them back in. So nice move by Remind deciding that he needed to cancel that. And we're going to see a Militia Creep coming in here to creep out this giant sea turtle camp from uh, for Infi. Going to go ahead and have this little wisp trying to get some dispel off to waste some mana. Maybe he was trying to get the water elemental as well. I'm not sure if he did. It didn't look like he did. Um, looks like they're just going to go ahead and finish tanking off these creeps. And going to go ahead and get a mana burn onto the Arc Mage and trying to uh, not let that the little turtle be stolen. Now, do you have one archer on the field press? We're going to see a few more. Yes, indeed, there is a second one on the way. Uh, a hunter's fallen as well as another Ancient of War because he's afraid right now that he's going to get some kind of rush going on, which is, of course, a very serious possibility. If you do not have enough defense, uh, the human can capitalize on that. And it looks like the human is, in fact, coming straight over to this base, bringing in a whole bunch of militia right here. It looks like three, six the militia, I believe seven attack. militia, as well as four footmen. That's what it looks like. That's it's a lot. We're gonna come in here and get it doing some damage over here to these archers, gonna do some damage to this building Ancient of War. Oh. And these moonwalls are gonna have a problem because there's not really a lot of moonwalls. Do you see another moonwall on its way up? But will there be enough time uh, to keep this game going for Remind? He could be in a bit of trouble here. He does go ahead and have that Ancient of War that was being can built cancelled. Goes ahead and immediately throws down a second one. Uh, need to quite being so erratic with the camera, but uh, action everywhere. And of course, we're gonna see that one footman gonna go ahead and try to get away with 17 HP. Gonna be able to do so. Uh, we're gonna see that Demon Hunter taking a fair amount of damage as the rest of these militia now they're about to turn into peasants are beginning to run away. Infi saying, I am happy with the harass I've just done and I'm going to run away now uh, as we do see Remind trying to pick off one of these peasants. going to go ahead and pick that one off and that's going to be, it's not really a whole, it's not great uh, for Remind but it's, it's it could have gone a lot worse and so go ahead and uh, maybe pick off a second peasant right there, no? It could happen, it could happen. Uh, trying, uh, Infi doing some nice job blocking that Demon Hunter, I think he was going first round, but didn't quite get it. And we can see that, will that, yes indeed, there, down goes another peon, or peasant, I suppose you could say. We do see these being turned right back into militia, and of course, if we look over here, we can see there was a moonwall. I heard some building going up, and that is indeed going to be that moonwall. Huntresses are out, actually, at this point, Huntresses, nice unit to have. Uh, it'll help with dealing with all of these, uh, hunt, these footmen. Uh, here we're going to see who's going to get the experience for this camp. It looks like the Arc Mage did, I think. Um. Uh, you know, it was the the experience bar moved one way or another. So whoever did it, if the experience bar moved up, then it was the Archmage, and if not, then it was actually Remind. Uh, and I'm not sure actually, because it looks like Remind might have gotten it because he has 118 experience now, and he was only at 50. So I think it might have been Remind. Um, so yeah, there we there we have that. We yeah, two hunters as well as two archers on the field. Now we're gonna see uh, it was a TP actually coming in from uh, Remind that we did just see a second ago while I was too busy talking about the creeping, but it was on the screen, so you probably saw that. And um. 
He is now without a TP um, because he was actually surrounded. And he's doing a little bit of harassment. We do see another Huntress on the way out. Uh, another one as well as an ancient, of pro ancient Protector, which is a, the elf version of Towers, going up right there uh, in basically the very front of Remind's base, as you can see in between those two Moonwells. And that'll be really nice to have in case any kind of more harass comes in. I'm going to see a Lumber Mill going up for Enfy, and it looks like he's going to probably lose this farm. Maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, he's just, he is attacking at this point. Uh, I'm sorry, Enfy is attacking at this point. And we're going to go ahead and see some of these footmen taking some damage as well. Uh, trying to take out this farm. Taking out this farm would be nice. It does provide a fair amount of vision to Enfy. So, and, and essentially, if uh, Remind wanted to come in to harass here, that farm is going to provide a lot of good vision. And it looks like... Um, with these militia that, as well as all these footmen, of course, that Enfy is going to actually be able to force uh, remind it back a little bit. If you look over here, you can see another Huntress on the way. A lot of Huntresses, actually. And we're going to see these uh, trying to go right back for this farm, trying to kill this farm if we can do so. And I want to see if Remind is attacking. Remind is not currently attacking. Back over here to this farm, and it looks like that farm does actually go down. And now we're going to see a bunch of these units are very low HP. Uh, and that's essentially what Enfy wants to do. He wants to micro his units so he has a bunch of low HP units, but not actually losing any. He does have that shop right there, and he can go ahead pop that scroll of regeneration and all of those units are now going to heal up uh, of course now we do still have the fact that we do see actually militia going down uh, those militia came into this fight I'm not really sure why I guess they were trying to buy a little bit of time for Remind Enfy's army to get back and away from these huntresses while it was healing up um and that was a good move. He did, go, of course, lose a militia for it, but it's probably worth it. He's probably going to save a lot more units from that scroll of healing or resurrection or regeneration, whatever it's called. Can't quite ever remember the name. Uh, but we do have a tower going up. It's a guard tower. Those archers are not actually trying to kill that. Will they take it down? It looks like they may very well be able to do so. Yes, indeed, they take it down. We do see these huntresses are actually fighting these footmen. And, of course, huntresses are really just going to destroy and demolish footmen. There's really nothing else to say about that. And now it looks like the tables have actually turned, and Enfy is the one in trouble here. He's about to hit Tier 2, but he is not currently Tier 2. He's going to go ahead and lose that shop as well. Um, maybe lose another peasant right there. Down goes another peasant. He's focusing on this farm. I'm going to go, go ahead and bring in a footman or a huntress over here to try to cancel some more of these scrolls of regeneration uh, so that they, the footmen have less and less ability to heal. Uh, we do see a Naga being picked up immediately for Enfy once he hits Tier 2. A nice pick right there, and he's going to actually start to wear down the elf army. In doing so, it's going to be really nice because once that Naga comes in with that slow arrow, he's actually going to be able to start picking units off. He needs to do just that. We do see Remind, of course, microing really well right now. He could actually possibly lose his Demon Hunter if he's not good here with his micro because, as you can see, it's very low on HP right now. We're actually going to see this Naga maybe get surrounded. Not quite going to see a full surround. Uh, he's going to be able to walk right out of that. We're going to see, uh, I think, one of these archers have gone down. Another Huntress is going down right there as well. I think we just saw two Huntresses die as well as an archer. We might see this other, the final second archer go down as well. It looks like it's in a little bit of a precarious position, but it might actually be able to get back no problem uh looks like it yes indeed very narrowly uh there was an ancient protector right there that was walking and it kind of scared him and he said you know what i'm not going to really want to walk too far up that way otherwise i think that archer would have died uh but either way as you can see both sides of reminds the base now actually protected one with this ancient protector as well as one with this ancient of war over here on this side if this ancient protector decides to walk over here he's actually going to be vulnerable while he walks through this water he cannot sit down he can actually attack he does have a melee attack um when he is uprooted but it's not very good and as you can see he is still tier one he's not attacking right now which means that this thing moves very slowly and doesn't have a lot of armor it only has one armor so that's an issue we do see some wisps actually coming over here are they going to be used to dispel mana it looks like yes indeed they're going to be used to dispel mana as well as that water elemental and now going ahead and beginning to throw down some ancient protectors this is an ancient protector hunter's rush coming in from remind on uh through on Enfy's units right now i'm gonna see a lot of these very low hp units that shop is back up he needs to go ahead and start healing some of these very low red hp footmen uh will he go ahead and do so he does have that scroll of regeneration and as you can see so many of these very low hp units uh the footmen actually starting to go down at this point but nice Nicely done by uh, Infi nonetheless in that fight to go ahead and cancel some of those buildings and actually uh, they didn't get canceled they just straight up died it looks like a couple of them I don't know if any of them did actually get canceled by the way we're gonna see another footman maybe going down no gonna get into the back of the base and we do see an ancient protector an ancient of war and another ancient protector that is two ancient protectors going up we do have that one finally protector that had to walk all the way over here very slowly uh, finally getting into the ground where he can actually go ahead and downward if you should want to he goes ahead and eats a tree uh, here we're gonna see it looks like some more militia coming into the fight that Naga being used very nicely to go ahead and keep picking units off because without that slow arrow, he would have no chance to be picking units off at all right now. You can see this uh, Ancient Protector actually going to get canceled. Uh, that Wisp going to go ahead and throw down another thing. We're going to see one of them just pick straight up dying right there so they won't be able to, uh, Remind won't be able to recover that Wisp. And if you don't cancel a building that is an elf building as it's uh, being built and it just gets killed, you do lose the Wisp. So... 
very unfortunate for mine to lose that uh, but uh, however we do see it looks like now that ancient protector that is already up going to come into here uh, maybe go ahead and block this path right here so units from MP cannot actually walk in or he might just be opening it up and then backing off but it looks like he's just opening it up enough to sit down right there and that might be what we see and it looks like yes indeed that's what we're actually going to see now uh, will remind be able to end the game right here of course is he start attacking still no attacking you see a farm right there and another farm right there but uh, essentially this fight is just going on right now it's a very long fight we're going to see now that it looks like this Huntress uh, these are a lot of very low HP Huntresses and we might see one being able to back out right now it's not being targeted by that uh, the Naga but he is being targeted by the Anti Mage I'm sorry the Arc Mage uh, and it looks like the Demon Hunter is actually surrounded by Footman right now it's about to go down it might it's going to be very close uh, it could break this around but it's going to go down instead down it goes level 2 being picked up on the Naga Sea Witch Oh my lord, okay, so what's going to happen now? I don't know. The altar of kings for the a human player, Enthi, has gone down, but there are now two towers up as well as a bunch of Huntresses and an Ancient of War. We're going to see this archer definitely going down. Uh, is there any more scrolls of regeneration? No, he does not have a shop up either. There is two Wisp right there. He could be using these to dispel this water elemental and burn mana. He's going to go ahead and detonate. Uh, it's going to be 50 mana gone through each hero as well as a bunch of damage done to this water elemental. I believe it's 250. It might be 350 or something like that. By the way, it's a lot... Um, I think it's 250 though. What a fight. And it's not over yet. Long from over. Here we do see it looks now that with just one final footman left, it's actually fighting condition. Well, actually, this one's also fighting condition, but it's not with this army. I'm uh, going to go ahead and try to chase back this Huntress's army while he brings in some militia and uh, footmen to try to deal with these towers right here. We do see one of these towers is actually uprooted, so that's the perfect time when it's actually not currently downrooted. Uh, and as you can see, it can't actually downroot because there are too many units that's actually right on top of it. Nice micro from Infi and uh, to keep that going on. Here we do see these Huntresses are coming back in, but it looks like both of these Ancient Protectors are going to go down, and that's going to be nice. We do have the Guard Tower almost finished up for Infi at this point. The Demon Hunter is back out right now. It's level 3. It's about to hit level 4 if it gets any more experience, uh, and that will be really nice to have level 4. It's very, very strong. It's very powerful. It's only 5 experience away from hitting this level, so essentially just a Peasant or a Militia or a Footman, anything at all will go ahead and give it another level, but we do see one very low HP, HP Huntress here right now. Uh, it might run out. We do see another one right here that's actually hidden, and this one that's hidden as well. These are actually preventing uh, a ni their nice little block. If we see this one move over here, then we might even see this Archmage being trapped on the outside of this base. That would be quite intriguing. Uh, but it looks like now Remind is going to lose all of his buildings that he had built inside of Infi's base. Nicely done. Um, we might see this Huntress actually being used to pick off these two footmen. That would be quite clever. And if we look over here, we do see there's a very low HP Huntress at this tavern taking out Infi's farm right there. And now we do have uh, still level 3 on this uh, Demon Hunter. Still 5 experience away. Still just needs one more kill. Will he be able to pick that up right here on this footman? It's a possibility. It's a very low HP footman. But uh, no, it's going to get away. It's going to get to the back. We do see another shot going up for Infi. This game is back and forth, back and forth. Of course, we do have the economy advantage going over to Remind because he's been able to solidly mine uh, in his base without, base without any issues really the whole game long. And we've seen Infi having to use a lot of more so very very often but really intense micro going on we do see this water elemental actually being surrounded at this point are we going to see this huntress going to get a shadow melt off in time no it's going to get cork lightning and down it goes we're going to see a detonate going off onto these heroes and another ancient protector going up from remind and once again I just don't know who's actually in the lead anymore. Uh, there are these Huntresses right over here on this side of the map. This one could be brought into this fighting condition. It's perfectly fine. It's at essentially full life right now. Uh, and is it going to do so? It looks like it's going to go ahead and try to go ahead. Uh, both of those moving. Uh, and one of them, um, the one that was low HP immediately being picked off. It looks like now Infi's going to lose his barracks. If he loses his barracks, that's not good. That's really not good. There's so many Huntresses out right now. Uh, will he? That level 3 on that Archmage as well as level 3 on that Naga. But it's only level 4 on that Demon Hunter. That is a problem, but we do see another farm going down now. Infi is actually supply blocked at this point. 30 food out of 24. He needs to bring two more farms up in order to actually begin making units yet again. And But it doesn't really matter. All he could make right now are peasants, even if he did have the food, because he is out of the barracks at this point. But we're going to see this fight going off once again. A nice a bunch of aggressive uses use of the mana. Of course, he has to be very aggressive with the Dar Wisp Dead Day, as well as Mana Burn. Uh, both of these things are an issue. Nice micro from your mind, trying to keep his units from being picked off right there in the back running away and now we do have a bunch of uh, three wisps coming into this base and we do have one of those ancient protectors has finished will it move into position if it moves right here that guard tower in the back will be useless and it'll be able to whack on this keep uh, but for, for preferably it'll be able to whack on the shop uh, maybe even actually move it over here so it can whack on this barracks that's actually going up or perhaps even just the peasants that are making it that could be one partic uh, particularly important move we're going to see 700 guard range both of these towers so uh, all it has to do is stay out of the tower range of that guard tower and it should be just fine um, so it should be doable 
But we'll see what he decides to do. I'm gonna go ahead and move them up just a little bit, uh, eating some trees so that they take some damage. They will automatically repair themselves a little bit. And it looks like now, I mean, uh, the food count right here is 46 for Remind, and it's only 30 for Infi. But Infi does have those dual heroes in the water elementals, uh, so this could be a particular problem for Remind. But he does go ahead and finish power building that uh, barracks. Really low on wood, not an issue if you're just making footmen. However, and of course, footmen are gonna work fairly well. He's just as we've seen so far in this game, he's been able to hold out with just footmen though we do see another ancient protector going down and i don't know if we have defend research defend research could be a big deal against these towers uh, at some point that'll be the question and it looks like now we do have a water elemental trying to do some harass over here to these towers uh but the question is it's not gonna it's really yeah it's not gonna do a whole lot right there and now we're gonna see these huntresses going for the keep if they can take this out and that's certainly good game uh because there's no way that Empty would be able to get on without any resources whatsoever against an elf who was able to just continuously mass huntresses. Um, and of course, we do see a healing scroll and a, a potion of lesser and ability. I'm not sure uh, when the demon hunter actually had time to go to a shop. I didn't see that. But anyway, so we do see this fight going back underway. These two towers are actually going to be able to do a lot of damage. We're going to see some nice forked lightning coming in here. Lots of damage being done to these huntresses. But as long as there's a spread, as we can see, that healing scroll going off and bringing them all back up to a lot of at least half HP across the board. So nicely done by Remind, but of course, again, once again, Enfi holding his position, gonna go ahead and now it looks like gonna force Remind to regroup just a little bit. Now beginning to run away, now this Demon Hunter is taking some damage, we're gonna see these towers moving back in closer at this point, uh, trying to do more damage, trying to get into better position. We do have these four whips that can actually repair without a problem, there's plenty of resources over here for Remind, as you can see he has another uh, Ancient Protector in the back, his only issue is he's kind of low on wood, but he could always take a uh, Wisp off of his gold mine. I'm not sure why I moved my camera over there, off of his gold mine and put them onto wood, should he need to in a pinch as you can see has plenty of more gold than wood so that wouldn't be a huge issue for him but you see these towers are now trying to take out this guard tower which um as you can see, he doesn't have very much armor, only 5 armor. Of course, he's only have 1, but uh, considering this is a heavy armor and this is fortified, that's a pretty big difference. As you can see, the difference, you can tell it very obviously. Of course, this also does a lesser damage attack, but it attacks faster, and this one does a much heavier damage attack, but it attacks slower. So there's that. Uh, but either way, as you can see, it looks like that guard tower is going to lose this fight. We do see another ancient protector that was back here, now moving into tower range to actually hit this keep. Um, actually going to go ahead and maybe move back in closer to try to hit that guard tower, to take out the guard tower. If you could do that, that would be quite effective. Uh, if there's no tower there then there's really that's the last bastion of hope it looks like maybe for Infi's army his hero his army has actually healed back up but uh, that tower is providing a lot of damage you can see that tower does go ahead and take down a huntress um, we do have these wisps that are actually protecting and repairing these ancient protectors right now will they actually go down it looks like one of them might go down right now we're gonna see uh, perhaps some more huntresses yes you need more huntresses more huntresses of course we're gonna see another fork lightning going off onto these huntresses taking out a wisp one of these towers has gone down that guard tower is still alive uh, as long as that guard tower is alive then perhaps empty can just keep on going I'm not how sure I'm not entirely how sure or how certain the amount of protection it, it is providing but it looks like he might just be better off killing that peasant that's actually repairing it's very low it's on one hit uh, but it looks like it's not gonna matter because that guard tower is actually gonna go down right there and it's doing a little bit of AOE which actually also took out that uh, peasant that was repairing it on that last hit as well and of course these towers do do a bit of AOE we can see these tower uh, these footmen now are in a bit of a bad position as well but once again I'm sure we don't Nope. actually it looks like there might not be enough uh, Either maybe not enough money, or maybe that the scholar regenerations are no longer in stock. That is an issue if you're buying a bunch of them. I'm not sure how many he has bots in this game, but he's bought quite a few. Of course, this I believe is his third shop that he's actually placed up. So, I mean, uh, I don't know, but it could be an issue of gold. Of course, uh, it looks like he has enough gold. I mean, it's about 100 gold, I believe. It is only 100 gold, I do believe, uh, to buy one of those scrolls of regeneration. But either way, uh, if he's going to buy one, he needs to do it right about now because he is about to lose this thing. And there goes, picks one up. And uh, just gonna go ahead and lose the shop right now. He says that shop, I no longer need it, and goes ahead and pops the scroll of regeneration in the back of his base. He does have one benefit uh, that going in the back of his base, should he need to call in militia, would actually be able to do a lot if these huntresses are trapped into a bad spot. He could actually really act uh, screw Remind over. You could still win this game. We do see that Remind is still on tier one. And if we look, we can see this. There are only, there's not a lot of gold left actually in the gold mines. So I don't actually know who, who's gonna win this. It's gonna be, it's really a toss up right now because uh, certainly Infi has the hero level advantage right now because he has two level threes versus one level four Demon Hunter. But if this Demon Hunter does hit level five, that could be an issue as well. If it's level six, it's definitely game over. I think he will definitely win, but um, that could be a bit off. It's a whole level off as you can see. He's still 10, ex 10 experience from hitting level five. Uh, so getting to level six is 
going to be fairly hard, I mean, just on Footman alone, but we're going to see another shot going right back up for Infi, uh, starting to remake some peasants, and we're going to see now that finally Infi has pushed out of his base, maybe it's time to go creep a little bit, because he can creep, and that would give him level 4 on both of those heroes, and catching up is a really big deal on experience. Well, He's going to see that this Demon Hunter is now over here. He does know where this Demon Hunter is, because, of course, he does have that farm vision. Oh, and now <laughs> Remind is in a little bit of trouble. These creeps are actually awake. Uh, it looks like he's going to be forced to... Oh, that's not good. He actually pops that Invo Potion as well as the TP Scroll. That might have been a little bit of panicky move. That's really unfortunate uh, because that is... Uh that is what, 600 gold? Let me think. 350 plus 5 plus 150. Uh, 350 for the scroll. So that would be 400, 500 gold down the drain. Uh, yes, indeed. 500 gold. That's a lot of gold to just waste on basically nothing, which was what that was. Um, because he probably would have been fine if he just bought a Staff of Teleportation instead of this TP scroll and just TP it out even without using the Potion of Invernibility. Might have been a little bit of a panic. I'm not sure. Maybe he would have needed to buy the TP. But either way, he certainly did not need to use both of those. Uh, but back into Remind's base, we're going to see another another Fork Lightning picking off a Wisp and give level 4 to this Naga Sea, which we're going to see a Mana Burn taking him all the way back down to Oom. Um, or out of mana. And we're going to see this Guard Tower. It's on its way back up. But will it actually manage to get up here while this fight's going underway? I'm not sure. We're going to see some of these Wisps blowing up. Uh, onto this water realm until three to take it down. Uh, yes, indeed. Three to take it down. And now we're going to see this guard tower taking some focus as well. You can see that the demon hunter is actually fairly close. He's getting almost halfway through level five. We're going to see the uh, another healing scroll going off to bring these Huntresses back up on on HP again. And again, we're going to see these footmen. This is just amazing micro from Infi. I mean, just absolutely unbelievably good micro from Infi. If you're watching this, this is... This is just crazy good. Um, his footman micro all game long. We're going to see actually that the, the Archmage is going to get surrounded. Uh, and GG is going to be called. And that probably would have given level 6 to the Demon Hunter. Oh, that's unfortunate for Inti. He played so well that game. So well. But um, his early tier 1 harass turned into a very big early tier 1 counter push. Uh, that, which lasted quite some time and was very, very effective from your mind. Of course, your mind also had beautiful micro in that game. Both players with amazing micro. But what a game. Holy crap, what a game. IEF producing some amazing games. And um, that's game one. Now, someone in the comments actually requested a Warden game. And so if you're that person, I highly suggest that you click uh, this little button. Because game two... I'm not going to say it features a warden, but it may feature a warden. So, uh, you don't want to miss that. And I will see you guys in game two, hopefully. And I think it's going to be a good game, especially if you wanted to see the warden, which I'm almost positive is in that game. So, I'll see you guys there. And once again, thank you all for watching. And thank you guys for leaving feedback and comments and subscribing and liking and favoriting and all that good stuff. Because that's always great. Um, if you guys actually like the content, don't actually do it if you don't like the content. You know, in which case, you should probably be like, hey, man, your content sucks. And I'll be like why and they'll be like this is the reason why and i'll be like all right well maybe i can work on that uh so we'll see but once again i just want to say thanks and this i'm really rambling i'm terrible at like ending a rant so i'm just gonna say i'll see you in game two